this week inevitably, and I th as I think we predicted here when we talked last week, this all vectored into the immigration debate, at least somewhat this week. Um, and, you know, maybe that's just pro forma, but maybe it's real. Um, you can't separate the two right now, though. Right. I think you're already seeing it, it spill over. And one is, of course, if you were already someone who's critical of immigration reform, this just is another weapon in your arsenal. You can say, yeah. look, you know, these guys, they came from abroad, they came in on visa, you know, whatever. Um, we need to really be taking a harder look at yeah. our immigration system. And the senators who are in favor of immigration are saying, well, we're already taking a harder look at our system. And this is what our bill does, is it actually makes it easier to track people who come here on a visa. And, you know, this, this will increase security. I think it's Which still- Which strikes me as a pretty good argument. Argument, frankly. I think it is a pretty good argument, but I still think there's a question, and it's one that's been voiced by a lot of experts, saying we don't really know what kind of protocol would have helped us. We don't mm -hmm. have enough facts of the case, and if these are kids who came here legally when they were like nine, then how are we going to know that in 10 years they become so, terrorists? So there's nothing in, in the current system or in reforming the current system that really gets at this problem. It seems almost separate from the immigration debate in some ways. I mean, especially if it's someone who's become a citizen. If we're talking about people who are here on visas and right. who have overstayed them, I mean, what the senators say is it'll be easier to track those people. And right. Basically, we're coming up with new new ways to monitor when people are leaving the country and new IDs that will be safer to kind of track immigrants. But I think we, we just don't know enough to know whether that would have helped po in this post case. Post 9-11, I mean, that was a huge, if, I think people might forget a little bit about this, but the Bush administration, one of their biggest concerns was you have 10 million people uh, living in the shadows. We don't know the who they are. The illegal we ha right, the immigrant the population. Illegal immigrant population. We don't know who they are. Right. We don't know what they're right. up to. We, they're using uh, cash and they're using uh, all kinds of ways to send money back home or to get money. So we, they had a, a you know, I think they thought very hard that they that they really needed to figure out a way to bring those people out of the shadows, bring them into the yeah. regular financial system, so you can track uh, what what their financial activities are. Which is precisely what the immigration reform right. bill and does. Th this 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 attack, frankly, in Boston, maybe calls into question and maybe some some discussion about the asylum program, yeah. the asylum system. Uh, these folks come into the country in 2002, claim asylum, say that they're uh, that they that they're uh, uh, being treated badly at home. And within a couple of years, though, they're traveling back. Um, and so the question that does, I think, come up is uh, if, if you are provided asylum um, and you start going back to your country almost immediately, um, you know, does that raise questions as to whether or not you legitimately got asylum?